Hi, today I want to talk about the cost of wine and how much you should pay for a bottle of wine. This is hotly debated in some circles, but it's not really that difficult. You have to keep a few things in mind. What's your budget? What's your taste? Do you want to spend a lot just because you have money to burn? Do you want to spend a lot more to get a better bottle of wine? Do you want to be a cheapskate and spend as little as possible? Or do you just want to get a really good bottle for not that much money? All, all these points are valid. They're, um, yeah, depending on where you're coming from. It's um, kind of a tricky thing. So let's start by establishing some guidelines. Now, I don't want to talk about dollars or pounds or euros or yen or ruan or yuan or whatever it is. Any of those. It's um, only good if you happen to be listening to me in the country whose currency I'm talking about. And since I don't know a whole lot of, uh, about the other currencies other than my own, U.S. dollars, it's kind of difficult to talk about this. So let's um, kind of equate it to something a little more universal than I think will apply to any major metropolitan area. And that is the price of a first-run Hollywood movie. Or not necessarily Hollywood, but major studio-type movie. And, uh, yeah, it might be in your area, it might be... 10 simoleons for a movie, it might be two simoleons, whatever it happens to be. So let's use that as our price basis because I can relate to that pretty well. Now across the U.S. you will find that movies on the East Coast and the West Coast tend to run a little bit more dollars per ticket than they do in the Midwest. So even there you've got a spread. But similarly in the Midwest a lot of other things are cheaper too. So correspondingly I think movie ticket kind of works it should be pretty universal now the price I pay for wine here in the US might be vastly different than you would pay in say France or some of the other wine producing countries or even those that are closely bordering to them so there's uh, use some flexibility and kind of um, it's, it's all a rule of thumb so let's take that uh, movie ticket if you go out and spend the equivalent of one movie ticket on a bottle of wine, you might be able to get some decent table wine. Now, if you want to get a pretty good bottle of wine that's uh, you know, going to be a, definitely a notch up from table wine, then I'd say spend two tickets. Or someplace in between, maybe a ticket and a half. That can be a good wine in the current market for me right now. So I can you know, get some very good wine there and um, be pretty comfortable with it. Now, if I want to go a little pricier, a little higher end, maybe I got my wine buddies coming over, I might go two tickets or even three tickets. And we've had talked about having um, getting, dragging out that bottle that you paid a lot for, but you've been holding off drinking because you paid you know, like five tickets for this bottle of wine and you don't want to just drink it with a pizza when you could have a beer with that perfectly good pizza. So, yeah, you've got all kinds of ranges there. So that's what I'm kind of talking about. If... Um, Another way to look at that, if tickets doesn't work for you, you never go to movies, you have no idea what they cost, not that you couldn't look them up on the internet real easy, but you might also look at uh, another factor. I pay about the same amount for a movie ticket as I would for a lunch when I'm out working. You know, I, you know, go to work, take off, noonish, go to lunch, spend some money, come back, go to work the rest of the day. So on average, I spend about one movie ticket for lunch per day. So... That should give you kind of a guideline. I would say a decent bottle of wine is going to be, you should be able to find one for two tickets. Now, if you go out and spend five tickets for a bottle of wine, does it make it five times better than that one ticket bottle? No, not necessarily. The returns diminish the higher up you go, in my opinion. The returns diminish. It's like two tickets is definitely a lot better, a lot, lot better than a one ticket bottle of wine. A three ticket bottle of wine is better than two tickets and vastly better than three tickets, but it's not 50% as good or as much better than a two-ticket bottle. So, you know, it's like, okay, it swoops away up, or right, goes up real fast this way, then kind of continues steadily up if you were to graph it. But it's not going to get you that big jump like you have going from one ticket to two tickets. So that's another thing to keep in mind. If you're just looking for some good wine to drink every day, I would say scout around, see if you can find the bargain ones, the really good ones that are one ticket, and they're out there. They're getting scarcer, but they're out there. Uh, I would say probably a ticket and a half to two tickets is a good price for an everyday wine, or a little bit better than just everyday table wine. So, hope that gives you something to go by. Um, enjoy your wine. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. 
and uh, I hope you enjoy some of my other videos. Uh, this is, is actually a remake of a video I did before, and the, um, it's still around here on the web someplace. I'm going to probably stick it and some others I'm redoing into a different folder. I'm redoing them mostly, just so you know, because the equipment I had to begin with was not that great. Better equipment now, and hopefully it comes across better on your end too. So, cheers. Hi, if this is the first of my videos that you've seen, you've come to the right spot because we're going to talk about how to drink wine. Now let's assume that you've already got a bottle of wine and you've got it open and you've got a glass in front of you and you've actually poured some into the glass. That's where I'm at right now. Before you start drinking wine, it's always a good thing to know, even if it doesn't mean a lot to you in the beginning, you want to know what kind of wine you're drinking and where it came from. For example, this one is a Merlot and it came from Italy. So, I'm not going to dwell on that, it's just one of those things you start keeping track of. It's like you drink this particular Merlot and you think, ooh, I kind of like that. Well, then you pay attention the next time if you drink another Merlot, did you like it too? So you start to build your own personal inventory of what wines you like. But we're getting way ahead of ourselves, so let's start with the wine in front of us. 